time to program the area of a circle. So again, to create a program, you go to Program. You want to go over to New. And then we're going to name our program Area Circ. C-I-R-C. Okay, we need to start off with asking the user what they, telling them what they need to put in. So I'm going to hit second, alpha, and then I, whatever I want to show on the screen exactly like it is, I need to put in quotation marks. So I'm going to ask for the radius. Radius. It's in alphabetical order. And then the space is the zero button. Radius is... I'm going to then ask them to put the number in. So I have to prompt, and we're going to call this variable r. Now I'm going to do two formulas. I'm going to do r squared, and I'm going to store that to the variable p. And then I'm going to do pi, so second pi times p, and I'm going to store that to the letter a for area. All right, and now we're going to display two things. So the first thing we're going to display is what we're, what, we're cal what we calculated. So I'm going to do quotation marks, and I'm going to say area. And then we're going to do pi. Oh, I forgot. I wanted to say is. Oops, alpha lock. Is. And now I'm going to show what we got for the variable um, p. And I will explain what we're doing in just a second. And then we're going to display again. Or, and now I'm going to show the area variable. OK, so we are all done with the program. How you get the program to run is you hit under program, PRGM, we're going to hit area circle. I'm going to hit enter, and then you hit enter again to run it. And you can see here's what we prompted. Radius is, we're going to enter the radius, and 5. Then it shows us two numbers. So the first number, area and pi, is if my answer choices had pi in it, like 10 pi, 15 pi, 25 pi, I'm looking for the one that says 25. Or, and then this is when it actually has pi included, so it's the decimal. So there you go, area of a circle.